Hellraiser, Hellraiser, Hellraiser. We haven't had any updates on this for, well, a few weeks, actually. People are kind of banding it around as we haven't had any news for a very, very long time. But we did. We had confirmation that the Hellraiser reboot movie, put on distinction there because there is an HBO series in the works. Uh, the Hellraiser reboot movie is coming to Hulu, which was eh, shame. Um, but that's not a surprise because, of course, Clive Barker has a working relationship with Hulu. He now owns the rights back to Hellraiser. So it's not a surprise that he would then gift it to Hulu, um, I guess, by means of allowing the movie to happen and getting some money on the back end. Who knows? We don't actually know the deal that's transpired. Just an educated guess. But we do have a major update. And this is a major, major update. Uh, there's two things. One, there's a lead that has been cast. Uh, so we're going to explore that. But then the second thing is that people are banding it around that uh, they're going to have a gender sock pinhead. It's really important to note, actually, if you have ever read The Hellbound Heart, pinhead was never actually a clearly defined gender. It was the, the character, the entity, was very ambiguous. In fact, it had a female's voice. Um... It was a genderless figure, and that's kind of what the point of the Cenobites were. Uh, if you know anything about Clive Barker um, and his sort of, I don't know, underground BDSM fetish love, uh, that's what the Cenobites were supposed to represent, that sort of genderless, vague uh, eroticism that he obviously pined for. Um, so let's dive into this today. Now, the, 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 the person that's been cast uh, is this... Uh, young individual which is a 20 year old actress called Odessa a Zion now I've never heard of her before she has been in some bits and pieces but this is supposed to be a remake of the original movie so this would be our Kirsty character one can guess anyway it's not a stretch to say that this would be our Kirsty esque character a lot of you know th this comes to us from the Illuminati and they're like oh there's no details on who she's supposed to play it's supposed to be Riley and it's like well it's pretty clear this is supposed to be the the, the Kirsty character like let, let's be honest let's be real about this here um but she's been in some stuff and, and this is the snippets from the Illuminati themselves it says Odessa Azion has joined the new Hellraiser reboot in the lead role Kirsty it's a Kirsty-esque character uh, the horror genre is making a comeback. That's, you know, they're banging on about A Quiet Place, It, etc, etc, etc. Horror has horror has always done well. It has always done well. It's, it's always been a money maker. It's not making a comeback. It's always been a massive earner. You just need a good horror film. And sadly, the horror genre uh, has succumbed to many, many, many producers and many studios that just think that they can pump out jump scare filled crap uh, and make some money back. Uh, sadly. But the horror genre never went anywhere, and it's been going strong for a very, very long time. So they, again, I, I do disagree with them saying, oh, it's making a comeback. No, it's it's never gone anywhere. People just pine for good horror, uh, and alas, studios don't provide it. But here we go. You know, we get this uh, Hellraiser reboot, and the individual that is in uh, the lead role is this uh, Odessa, Odessa Zion. Now, this is where they start to... Uh, talk about their sort of gender swap pinhead. So while not much is known about the Hellraiser reboot so far, there is. It is a reboot of the movie. That's what it is. It's a remake of the movie itself. Um, and I would say, especially more so now that Clive Barker uh, has the rights back, I'm sure he's just gone, yeah, just make make the Hellbound Heart. Just do that. Uh, the Illuminati had the opportunity to share some exciting information about what fans should expect to see on screen. Previously, they revealed, and this is again where they're completely off base, they don't understand the core concept of what Hellraiser is. Not many people do, in fairness, because it's you just watch the movie and you go, oh yeah, cool, Pinhead's a dude. Whereas if you actually bothered to read the novella, which is very short, you'd understand a little bit more things about it. The developers were looking for a female lead to play a gender swap Pinhead in a reinvention of the classic antagonist. It's not really a reinvention. It's, re it's really not. Read the book. <laughs> Just read the book. There'll be so many people going, scratching their heads, going, what What are these people on about? Yes, no, I, I, I feel your pain. I, it's not a reinvention, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, it's not a reinvention at all. And it's not even a gender swap. Pinhead, for the movie, was gender swapped, or at least gender defined. Uh, for the book, didn't really have anything. Could have been anything flapping, flapping around down there. Could have been anything at all. Who knows? 
They, ne they never bothered to define it. They don't need to. That was the point. Uh, but anyway, now our latest round of information from the Illuminati reveals who will be taking on the lead role of Riley. This is the, the, the you know, the character's name, Riley, uh, for the new Hellraiser, which we're excited to share with you. Uh, and like I say, this is this individual, uh, Odessa Zion. Now, they're saying that they, she's absolutely been cast, right? And l l let's be real about this. There was a lawsuit. Clive Barker got the rights back. It went quiet, very briefly, actually. Uh, and something happened which I was really surprised about, massively surprised about, is that then the next announcement is that, oh, Hellraiser's coming to Hulu. People are like, what? One, that does fly in the face of the original statement, which was, we are committed to Hellraiser being on the big screen again. It's not happening. Secondly, uh, is that Clive Barker very clearly just allowed them to keep doing what they're doing and said, pay me money. Because he's got the rights back. He obviously just sold it back to them or has brokered a deal where they get temporary rights to, you know, lease the rights to make the movie. Quite smart of him, actually. It means that he can make a rather large paycheck on this. Uh, and because the movie, the reboot movie, never actually had a distributor all throughout this phase, and Clive Barker has this working relationship with Hulu, I'm sure that was part of the deal. He said, give me this money, give me this. I'll chuck it on Hulu for you. I've got a working relationship because the books are blood and stuff like that. Uh, and that happened. But anyway... Because of all of this and, and the movement that's been happening, uh, a lead being cast, yeah, I can believe it. I, I can believe that happening quite quickly. Quite quickly. Couldn't quite click there, but yeah, quite quickly. Uh, there's been no confirmations from Azion or her representatives yet. There probably won't be. It's such a small movie. I don't think anyone's going to really care about this that much, to be fair. Not for a while. Not nearly enough to make like a massive big song and dance about it. I'm sure the Hollywood Reporter will pick up on it and they'll do... Uh, a video on it. Hollywood Reporter has been very up on, I think it's like, I can't remember the individual's name, but they had similar information to me with respect to the series, um, exclusive information, which, you know, I acquired from people that I know who are on the series. So I'd imagine they'll pick up on this because this is part of the movie. They may have uh, individual sources that are working on it as well. Now, again, I don't know who this individual is. I've got no recollection of i've never seen her anywhere basically uh, and it's not a surprise because the biggest roles to date have come in cbs's fam and netflix's grand army i've not watched either of them uh although a lead role in an anticipated horror reboot should come as a major career boost no in fact this could be the uh well it could be the gravestone on her career uh let's be honest is that hellraiser doesn't have a massively great track record uh and reboots never never do particularly well so I don't know about this. Now they obviously say, now the wait begins to see which other actors fill in uh, the numerous other roles which will bring this project to life. So look, um, as as an actress, fine. Like I can see her in the role of Kirsty. I've never seen her in anything else. I will go and do a bit of research and have a look. I'm sure she's fine. How, how good do you need to be to be the role of Kirsty? Not that good. You don't have to be Oscar... It doesn't have to be Oscar bait, right? This movie doesn't have to be Oscar bait. It just has to be serviceable. It has to be a good horror film. And I'm hoping at the very least, because it is a reboot of the original movie, the original novella, uh, and at the very least with Clive Barker on board, maybe he'll push for it to be a little bit more sadistic, uh, a little bit more, I guess, fetishized, uh, as you could say. And hopefully, because it's going to streaming, that will allow that to happen. Because if it's going to... The thing is, I would have loved to have seen this on the big screen, if it's any good. Uh, but the fact that it is going to, to streaming does allow those things to happen just a little bit more. Because going to theatres can be a death sentence for creativity uh, in this game. Now, the other thing I wanted to address and just kind of go into just briefly here, because it would have been in the title anyway, is this whole gender swap pinhead thing. I get it. I get everyone, you know, thinking, oh, feminist this, feminist that, blah, blah, blah. Like, fine, you know, you hear a woman and your peen inverts. That's your problem. I'm sorry about that. But if you know the law behind Hellraiser, you know anything about it, you will be well aware that Pinhead was genderless, right? It was a genderless role. It was an ambiguous entity. So it's really important to not let that bog you down uh, and tarnish, I guess, this whole project. Now, that's not to say that this whole project you know, will be any good, it very well and highly likely will be garbage. Because unfortunately, they don't have a great track record and I'm well aware of that and 
Clive Barker's back on board. Uh, it's going to Hulu. There's so many red flags for this being garbage. So I don't, you know, I, I'm well aware that this could be garbage. But th that very specific thing is not what you should be rallying against. Uh, it should be many, many other things. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. If you stayed this long and you're new, like I said, definitely do hit subscribe. You clearly enjoyed the content and do hit that thumbs up button on your way out. We've got memberships open here on the channel. You can find a link to that in the description box. Thanks so much. Take care.